Good morning and welcome back to White Mountain Today here on White Mountain TV 16. Joining us right here is Christy Fraser from the Mount Washington Observatory. How are you? I'm doing great. It's great to be back. I haven't seen you in a while. I know. it's yeah. uh, It's been too long. <laughs> too long. But a beautiful day outside today. Oh, spectacular. And uh, I mean, that might change a little bit later on, but right now it's beautiful. And of course, next weekend is going to be beautiful also. I, our fingers crossed. Uh, our signature hike-a-thon, Seek the Peak, takes place next well, Friday evening for the kickoff party, Saturday for the hiking and expo and after party. And when the sun is shining, it makes it spectacular. Absolutely. Well, it's, it's a spectacular event anyway. Yes, exactly. So it's always going to be a good time. So let's talk about that. Let's talk about uh, Seek the Peak and how people can get involved. We're going to take a look at some footage while we talk, too. But how can somebody get involved with that? Well, it's been, uh, so we we have a seekthepeak.org is where you can register. You basically register and you fundraise for the Mount Washington Observatory. And the, the sort of primary goal is to get to a $200 um, fundraising goal. And when you reach that goal, you you automatically get a backpack a t-shirt, you get a heart's turkey dinner, and you get into a draw into a drawings for like thousands of dollars worth of prizes, yeah. it's endless prizes. Um, we have a lot of people that sort of strive to sort of uh, fundraise up to like much higher levels, 2,500, 5,000, and at each, at all sorts of different fundraising levels, you earn additional prizes. For example, at 750, you get this cool vintage uh, trucker cap with this awesome artwork from uh, Hannah Lucy, she's a local climber. Yeah. And then, um, this is a one of the thousand dollar prizes is the fleece you get, um, and then and again there's drawings for all kinds of like Vasque footwear. We have a paddle board from East Mountain Sports. We have a mountain bike from East Mountain Sports. There's um, backpacks and tents, and it's just it's ongoing. It's amazing. That's great. Yeah, and actually one of the fun ones is Eminem Insurance every year participates, and they um, they do a team and they volunteer, and then they also they purchase the, this very cool um, tree pod hanging tent. And so if it's for any kid that's 12 and under that reaches the $200 goal. They bring them up, and they get they do some kind of fun drawing, yeah. and the kid goes home with this really cool hanging tent. Oh, that's, so that's awesome. Yeah, so that's that. I'm excited for that one this year. Well, that'll be great. Yeah. So if, um, if some people might have said, well, I haven't raised enough yet, or they haven't even thought about it yet, how can they do that? So if you head, head to mountwashington.org or seekthepeak.org, and you get registered today, and you go to... 20 friends and say, would you sponsor me for $10? They'll be at $200 before they know it. Right. And they can, some people, um, you can do online donations, but also on Friday evening we have the kickoff party at the Weather Discovery Center, and people can come in with their donations. And a lot, we have a, probably a good dozen people on that actually just register the day on Friday, Yeah. and they bring in their cash, and they just they register that day. Appalachian Mountain Club is there, and they have all kinds of trail information and, and um, just sort of advice. And so oftentimes people go up and so, you know talk to them about what what you know what's some of the best op alternatives yeah you know a lot of people strive to hike to summit of mount washington you know but we really encourage people to say we say seek your peak we want people to hike within their their comfort level and their ability levels and so we have an alternative hike with uh, will broussard he does like a nature walk up to lowe's bald spot mm -hmm. and that's super fun and this year we also we're pretty excited we've introduced um a climbing com component with Senate Mountain Guides. So there'll be a top rope session over at Square Ledge for people that don't that might hike on Friday or hike the better weather day and then decide on Saturday they just want to do a little bit of something yeah. before they come to the base of the auto road where there's an amazing expo. So we have 20 vendors. Um, they all do giveaways. We have There's Hyperlite um, Backpacks is doing a drawing for like a $1,500 gear package and you don't, you just go, you come you come to the event throw in your, your email address. Um, but Eastern Mountain Sports is there. They have a prize wheel. Vask is there, darn tough. Uh, a Christian um, Ganim from Good Vibes Coffee. It's, all just, it's just this fun, great kind of afternoon. Sounds great. Yeah, yeah. And, it's, and, and for the expo, you don't have to be a Seek the Peak participant, and it's, it's, it's open to the public. So people can just buzz over to the auto road, come check it out, meet our sponsors. Um, see, you know, er, there's all kinds of raffles and things they can give away. Um, and then we have the after party where we have Hearts Turkey Dinner. It's a uh, if you if you don't reach the two hundred dollars to get into the prize pools, you can still purchase a dinner ticket for twenty dollars and join us for this big Hearts Turkey spread. Great. And then, uh, and then we have um, Reynolds Wolf from the Weather Channel will be there to MC the uh, the event, and uh, they're doing a live broadcast on the summit on Saturday morning. So it's just this awesome weekend of it's very fast paced because it's. It's a lot to cram into a weekend, but bet, it's yeah. so much fun, and it's 
it's just such great energy and the people that come out and support both the observatory and just love hiking and just, they, there's so many different reasons why people participate. And how many, how many awesome. years has this been now for Seek the Peak? So this is the 17th year. Seven, wow. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah it's, it's pretty awesome. And we have, we have a few people that have been have participated in all 17. I believe that, yeah. <laughs> Which is I, very I hear big. a lot that you yeah. know, people who you know, plan their uh, summer around uh, Seek the Peak. So what a great thing. Yeah, but I think one of the fun things is some of the kids that you, you, know, you saw when they started <laughs> when they were eight or nine, and now as they're getting a little older as they participate. And I mean, I've only been there for, the fi for five years. This will be my sixth one. And um, so it's kind of fun to see those kids that I know that have been to see them kind of evolve. Grow with up it. with the yeah, event. It's yeah, it's really cool. Oh, that's great. So, mm -hmm. Now the observatory, of course, is doing a lot of things, and one of the things, of course, is is the uh, is the Science in the Mountain program series, the tenth year for yeah. that, and that's. Uh, been well started last week but you got Sarah Long coming this week yes that should be interesting so Sarah Long w was a, an observer on the summit and now she's a weather uh, meteorologist for WMTW Channel 8 Maine so she's going to come and sort of talk about the experience of the, you know the you know the mountain life and do, being doing meteorology on the summit and being an observer versus now being a you know a TV broadcaster meteorologist for down on the seacoast of right down in Maine and she's she's great she's been involved with the observatory for many years and um, so we we love to have her, and she's she's really dynamic and fun to see too. So great. And then we have another four weeks following that every Wednesday, 7 p.m. at the Weather Discovery Center. There it's a free lecture series, um, and so we, it's always a really nice turnout, and it's just a nice nice evening event. So we just try to spread the word and and have people come and join us. And a variety of programs. One is about one is about ticks uh, and Lyme disease. The Mount Washington Avalanche Center the Appalachian Mountain Club's uh, Mountain Watch Program and Peregrine Nesting. So all of that is coming up after yep. Sarah Long this week. So exactly. uh, you can definitely check out that, find out more information at mountwashington.org. Yep. Uh, and while you're there, of course, you're going to sign up for Seek the Peak and uh, enjoy that this weekend. Right. So. And don't forget, if you, and if you don't want to participate in Seek the Peak and you can't register, you can certainly go on and sponsor somebody else that's already uh, hiking. It's a so great for example, idea for that, you yeah. just heard Mike Carmen on the, on the TV earlier. He's got a team. If all the summit, uh, his shift is all fundraising and, and you know, forging ahead. And even Marty the cat has a page. I now think is, is Marty going to be hiking, or is he just going to hang he, out he on the summit? He just lounges. Just <laughs> hang out. He doesn't have to hike. Said, I don't just, have to hike. Just look, yeah. yeah, it just looks awesome. Yeah. Um, and and just uh, just just um, some other educational things that are happening too. Just to, to note, we have a star party workshop that's coming up pretty soon here, and that's a, that's a really fun weekend, um, learning about you know all things astronomy so that's pretty neat and additionally there's a lot of overnight edu trips so for an opportunity to go up to the summit stay the night kind of be in the work you know in immersed with the observers um, and there's different topics like photography or just basically life and work on the summit or yeah. certain kinds of um, climate education and things like that so there's lots of great opportunities to get involved with the observatory in any way and, and even visit the weather discovery center across the street here or if you're in town um, but, yeah, go to mountwashington.org for all your information. Find it all out. Yeah. Well, Christy, thanks so much for coming by. Yeah. It's always good to see you. <laughs> and uh, so definitely uh, sign up now for Seek the Peak. You can get all these great prizes, plus just supporting the Mount Washington Observatory. Nothing right. much better than that. And we'll be back here in a minute on White Mountains Today. <laughs>